love light and blessing shamanic our priestess here and i just wanted to say happy dr martin luther king jr's birthday today um i've been talking to a lot of people and just even within my own thoughts um i feel like his birthday is so significant it always is significant um but especially like after uh, the summer uh, protest of Black Lives Matters in the summer, um, the protest, um, like, you know, the riots that happened in the Capitol, um, we got to see, you know, um, symbolisms of hate within our own Capitol building. You know, we saw uh, Nazi signs, we saw uh, the rebel flag you know the confederate flag which we all know it's it, it's literally a, a flag to a losing side it, it's a flag that represents the oppression and enslavement of my ancestors the genocide of my native american ancestors and the enslavement and genocide as well of my african ancestors um and and what slavery did and you know continues to to do because we still are feeling the effects of slavery you know the you know what's still going on the, the systematic racism uh, the, the 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 voter suppression that goes on and, and just a lot of things the, the fact that they wanted to overturn the votes in places like Philadelphia which is a predominantly black area um and and and, and parts of Michigan that's pre predominantly black you know you know just watching and we, we came really close to having this election overturned you know what I mean um and the riots just show like the different ways that police handle us versus them and it brought something that a lot of us knew it's why colin uh colin kaepernick took the knee you know and when he took the knee he was called um sob you know what i mean he was cursed by someone who's supposed to be our leader he called people that they weren't disrespecting the flag but they took a knee to show that there's two americas there's america and america you know what i mean and the, the flag doesn't cover the two sides equally you know um we don't uh, get the same treatment um it, it, it's it's factual it, it's statistically proven that we are not treated all the time the same there's certain preconceived notions when someone that looks like me goes into a store versus someone that may look like you or whatever the case may be so today is just a day of reflection i always you know take this day as something special but i just felt in my heart the ancestors calling for me to do a feast for the spirits which is what i did today and i've been praying and i'm going to do another ritual um after i'm done with my readings for tonight and i'm going to pray for our community i'm going to pray for our world i'm going to pray for all black and brown and indigenous people from all over the world because this is not just a united states of america problem i was just talking to a client from another part of the world and we got really emotional in our reading because brown and black people are suffering on a world scale um, racism has has and is a world problem and days like today when we celebrate a man who dedicated his life to trying to have a person not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character it just really makes you think it's a bittersweet birthday because we're still struggling and we're still fighting to get those knees off our neck we're still fighting to release the shackles of enslavement we're still trying to find our way here and our existence and our voices and so i just felt like cooking food for the spirits and praying for our community um covid has hit us as a nation as a country as a world on a, on like it's just been crazy so much people have died from covid so many people are suffering and it has really hit the black and brown community and just it's just so like it's really affecting our community 
and I'm just praying to the ancestors for guidance. I'm, I'm, I'm praying to Dr. Martin Luther King, who is an ancestor now, who, who lives with the ancestors to guide the future generations and Malcolm X and, and Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman. I just been praying that these ancestors who lived through enslavement, who lived as property, Dr. Martin Luther King, who got spit at and beaten, but he never was violent. He continued to fight. He died for his people. He died for a better world. And I just feel that today is a day to remember that, to light candles for the ancestors and know that we will not always have to live with racism. I believe that I will see the end of this. I believe that my children will have better days because I will fight to my dying breath until I see the ending of racism. I will fight to my dying breath until I see the end of this situation. And that's why I feel like ancestral veneration is so important because we can look into those who came before us and see the struggles that they've been through and understand that no matter how difficult things may be right now, our people as a collective have been through worse and we can keep marching and we could keep going and we could keep making our voices heard. You are heard. I see you. I hear you. I feel you. I feel you. But don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Our children are watching and our children see and we must not give up. There's hope. We have a new generation coming and I feel like they're going to far out seed the things that even we could do. And I just feel like I will see the ending of white supremacy. I'm not going to say that's just the way it is. That's just the way it's always going to be. I refuse. I refuse. Like Martin Luther King said, he saw the promised land. He saw the promised land. And I feel like he was a messenger of spirit and creator. And I feel that he foresaw that someday, someday, we will not be judged by the color of our skin, but by our character. And someday, people will look beyond skin color and they will see us as human and know that we have a right to exist and be here. And those are the things that I remember on Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, that we are stronger together and there's more of us that, that want to end racism. There's more of us that want to end white supremacy. And um, we're not defined by what happened on January 6th. Because even though we know that white supremacies exist, this generation, the people that I talk to, my children and their children, we're tired and we're going to keep on fighting and we're never going to stop because we're going to fight and we're going to do things that our ancestors never thought we could do. And that's how I'm going to see it because I know someday there will be a black woman president. I know someday there'll be a Native American president. I know someday we will break that glass ceiling. And I know that someday we will be equal and treated equal. We are equal, but we will be treated equal like everybody else. And that's what I remember on Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday to keep on fighting because his dream can be a reality. We must not give up. Too many of our ancestors died so that we could be free, so that we could do the things that they only dreamed of. Think of all the ancestors that were sharecroppers. Think of all the ancestors that were enslaved. Think of all the ancestors that made it through Jim Crow and segregation. We will not let something like January 6, 2021 scare us because we will keep on marching and we will keep on fighting until the American flag and the flags of all the world cover us equally and see us as equal people. Much love, much light, and much blessings. And may the ancestors and the spirits continue to bless you all. Much love and light. And I will keep you all in my prayer because I'm gonna be lighting candles for our spiritual community as a whole 
My black and brown people, I see you. We will make it. Much love and light. Bye.